G'day, it's Andy from Coast Fish TV. Well, we've come to our final part, part three of Masterclass in Lure Making. But make sure you stick around, I'm going to tell you during the show on how you can find out if you're one of the lucky winners of one of six HM lures, one of a kind, signed by the man himself. Let's head back to the man shed with Darren Dizzy Ball. So, we've uh, done the front, we've done the middle toe point, we've bent them up ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we've got everything in place, we've got where we want to do, we've got our measurements correct. We'll do the back toe point now, which is really easy to do. A pair of pliers over the top of it. I usually come out just a little bit so I've got a bit of room to work with. And then I bend over and down, like so. And I come back and I grab it. And then we bend back in squeeze down so you get that shape there like that then we'll grab the bigger pliers make it a bit easier you grab a hold of it and we wrap the wire back around itself trying to keep it as tight as you can the beauty of doing this before everything's glued in is you've got room to work with whereas if you do it after things are glued in, you've got no room to work with at all. So you've got the front toe point in place, you've got the back toe point in place, and you've twisted it up. Now it's as simple as cutting it off, you've got a tag end sticking out, we just want to push that down. And you've basically got your wire running through the center of that lure now, ready to go. As you can see, we're at that stage where we've done the, the back, the middle, the front wire is all set inside. It's time to glue the bib in. So we put the bib in the slot, we make sure it's straight. We'll glue that in with 24 hour araldite, let it go off. Then when that part's finished, we can pull this middle one out and we can fill up the inside of the lure with 24 hour araldite and place it back in and it should be almost done. These are the bibs I use. I cut the slots out myself so they slide over the, the through wire. You can make your own out of polycarbonate or you can buy them online. Most of us these days prefer to buy them online uh, if I'm doing something special and I need a thick bib, generally I've got to cut my own out simply because uh, it's hard to get really thick bibs and some lures, you know, I want 3mm bibs in them. You can't get those 3mm bibs so I make my own. But for the purpose of these sorts of lures, this is a 1.5 I think or a 2mm bib. And we got it just about right. It looks pretty close to being on the money there. So you can see that the through wire comes through just in the right spot. Have a look, see it's in the center. Because once we glue it in, it's no return then. If it's not right, it's too late. You gotta make sure everything's correct before you start gluing. So I like to spend a bit of time having a good look at it. So as you can see, we're ready to go. We'll go and mix some araldite up and we'll glue this bib in. All right, so we need to uh, make sure we mix our, our araldite now. Um, always use 24 hour araldite. So what we're gonna do is mix uh, equal parts of the araldite together and mix it nice and it takes a bit. Sometimes araldite does need a bit more of a mix than, than your uh, epoxies and other um, glues and whatnot you use, especially the 24 hour. So we give it a good mix. So it's all nice and ready to go like so. And now we can start looking at uh, using some of the latest technology, my egg carton, as you can see, my beautiful egg carton. Top's cut off, lure sits in, one of the most versatile tools a lure maker can have. And all you got to do is go buy yourself a dozen eggs. Anyhow, let's get to the bib. So there it is, ready to go, in there, out of there. We're going to get some of this araldite that we've mixed up, and we are going to place it into the bib slot. You got to sort of try and get it in as best you can. It's pretty important to get it down and into the bib slot. Um, if you don't get it, enough of it in there, 
you're not going to have a good strong connection and because we've got a through wire we also need it to seal this end of the lure so that when we place all the aerodite on the inside through the middle connection point to fill up the gap that we've got running through the middle we don't want it pouring out this end so now we've got our aerodite in we will slide our bib in and we've got to start looking now to see if we've got it straight so it can be difficult to make sure you've got a straight bib so you sort of got to look down the middle and you've got to have a good look as you roll it over to make sure that the bib's actually centered and when you get to a certain point like where i'm at now you want to make sure that that bib is not crooked and uh, the beauty with 24 hour aerodite is you can come back sometimes if they're not quite right to the eye you can give them a little touch up but that actually looks uh, like it's right in the center so what i do now is put it in our egg carton and i'll let that sit there for at least an hour before i come back and have a look at it and then clean up any excess aerodite that is still there um, I don't tend to clean it up straight away. I like the aerodite to start going off a little bit before I take away any excess there. Okay, now we've had the uh, bib glued in there. We've cleaned it up. We're going to go to the next stage. We're going to fill the cavity on the inside with aerolite. Um, this is where this centre wire is really good for this because it allows me to pull it out and pull it to the side and I've got enough room there to be able to get aerodite down into the, the main hole. Um, very important, you get as much aerodite down there as you can. Uh, I generally take the time and fill it up until there's no more will go in. The beauty of 24 hour aerodite is it takes so long to go off, you can pour it, leave it, wait for it to drop down a little bit, come back and put more in until you make sure you've got the whole thing completely full. Several ways you can put that aerodite in. Um, you can pour it in if your hole's big enough. You can use a stick like I do and just put bits and pieces in. It will take a bit of time. Or you can use one of these plastic syringes that you can sort of buy from the cheap shops and you can just suck some aerodite up. You can get it down in there beside, in right down low. And then you can inject the aerodite deep down and into the area that you want it to go. Put some aerodite around it. And then we just push it in so it squeezes it out. And we'll let that sit like that for a little bit now and uh, come back in about half an hour to an hour and we'll clean up all the excess around that toe point and then she'll be all glued in ready to go. Okay, now we're in the paint room. What we're going to do is we're going to finish this lure off the uh, Araldite, we cleaned it off. It's all gone nice and dry there now, so we're ready to go. So we just want to put a little bit of paint in that area to make sure that it uh, neatens it up, makes it look nice and pretty. So we'll uh, put a bit of paint in the paint gun. Here we go. Make sure it's working all right. Pretty important. Now, now all we've got to do is just lightly spray. lightly spray the silver over the top and you can still see there's some lumps and bumps there so what happens now is we'll put two coats of epoxy on this and then we'll come back and we'll respray that area to make sure that you can't see any imperfections of where the glue was and then it'll get another one or two coats of epoxy so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the eyes into the area where the eyes are on the wrap and we're using a colourful 3D eyes that change from blue to green to yellow to gold to all sorts of colours. And these just give it a little bit more lifelike of a look. Um, you don't need to put these eyes on if you don't want, but I think they make the, the law look so much better. So it's just a, a little tiny dob of super glue. And then we grab an eye. Then we put the eye right where it's gonna go, like so. And we do the other side. Put the eye right on the mark. Now that 
is ready to be epoxied. So what we'll do is we'll give that two coats of epoxy and then we'll be able to come back and we'll be able to clean up this area here and give it another two coats of epoxy and then she's ready to fish. Okay, so now we're up to some of the final steps. We've uh, mixed up our epoxy ready to go. Um, and remember when you do that, it must be equal parts, like we showed you earlier on in part one. We're going to put it on the lure now. So what we've done is we've put tape around the bib to protect the bib from getting any epoxy on it. Um, we're going to put this coat on and that'll fix up all of these imperfections here, smooth everything out, and then we can look at giving it its final detailing before the last few coats of epoxy goes on. So just like we showed you before, it's pretty simple. You just get your, your brush and brush your epoxy on. Try to be neat with it, you know, it's, if you're neat with it, there's a lot less cleaning up to do at the end. Um, it's worth taking a little bit of time to make sure you try and get it on nice and neatly. Uh, you don't want it too thick, it's pretty important. If you put it on thick, you're going to have areas where it will be thicker than others and it can also not only look good, but it can throw the balance of the lure out as well. As you can see there now, we're putting that epoxy on over that area, so once it's dried, we'll be able to come back and give that a touch up with the silver paint and that will look nice and neat when we finished it. The whole belly area will look good. So now that we've got the epoxy on, what we do is we turn on the turner and we put it on and let it turn for eight hours till it dries. Okay, so we've taken the, the lure off. It's had two coats of epoxy now. What we've done is we've cleaned up this area here around here that we've had that was a little bit messy before. The epoxy smoothed out, so we've given it another paint. So this lure is now ready for its final stages of epoxy. So we're gonna give it one more coat and then it'll be ready to fish. Well, there you go, from start to finish, what a beautiful creation. Well, I wish all you guys at home all the very best and catching a fish of a lifetime on one of your own handmade creations. Well, are you one of six lucky winners of our huge HM Lures giveaway? All you have to do is head over to our Facebook page, type in Coast Fish TV to find out. Well, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe to Coast Fish TV on Facebook and YouTube, because we've got plenty more coming up in 2020. Yeah!